Age is only a number. I will always learn until the day I die. I'm a simple man. If everybody is happy, I'm happy. My name is Tan. I'm 72 years old and I'm a badminton coach. Strange thing is, I'm not good in my studies and then when come to my late stage, I started to learn. Learning at a late age or even young age, I think the most important is you must love what you do. I love to play games and sports. I also do some mountain climbing for fitness. To do mountain climbing, I need to take a lot of stamina herbs and uh, endurance herbs. There are many herbs that can give you stamina and therefore, if I continue to take the herbs and exercise more, I can get more endurance. My legs are stronger and my lungs are also stronger. To me, exercise is so important in life. If we don't do it, I think we will regret later. I like to play guitar, I, I just like music, but I never had the guitar until I was quite old. By that time, I thought I was, might as well learn by ear. I still love badminton the most. It's simple, you can just walk into a badminton hall and uh, just bring your racket, you can start playing with it. But after I enjoyed it so much, I had a nasty accident. I had a shoulder blade broken, my collarbone broken and also four ribs broken. So, if I play, I cannot play good badminton anymore. Many people didn't want to play with me because some they sympathize with me, some they find that I'm no match to play with them. I tried my best to work my way up into the game again. I had to go all out, started to go mountain climbing, to keep fit and to do some physiotherapy myself and then uh, got better and went back to play badminton. I forced myself to do two months of uh, intense training. I find that if I just do my own training, there are many things I will miss out. So, I try to look for a coach that will teach an elderly person like me. It's quite tough to, for me at my age to find a coach because most of these coaches, they feel that just play accordingly as what you can play and uh, it's no point of learning at this age. So, I keep on looking until I find somebody who can uh, keep on teaching me. Because I was getting older and older and my reflexes, my eyesight is not so good as the people that I play with. Most of them are about half my age. I might as well learn and teach the young people then uh, even the handicaps to enjoy badminton and to grow in badminton. The most difficult is if you don't have the patience, success in teaching them is not easy. So patience is one of the most important in uh, badminton. Coaching is actually a two-way thing. I learn as well as the, the kids learn. For me, I learn to bond and connect with them. The OKUs, uh, every week we, we meet, then I learn many things from them. I find that some of them have very good attitudes. Some of them are very shy. If I can really help them more, I would. 
where the volunteers are uh, concerned, I always uh, make, make a point that we go for dinner or supper after every session. We share a lot of things and uh, help each other to grow. Most of the coaches want to uh, train young people and uh, fight, try to find a champion out of them. To me, I want to be a blessing to anybody. So if they come to me, I will always accept them to help them to be happy in what they want to do and uh, improve in what they want to do and become a better person. So I, I choose badminton in this journey. Lah. I guess I retired from retirement. The point is we never stop. We keep on smashing. My name is H.P. Tan. This is my journey.